Okay, so this is the second time making this video, uh, because I wanted to clarify something that I didn't do well on, I think, but I'm probably going to kind of rush through this a little bit faster. Anyways, this is going to have to do with, uh, you know, Jonah crying out from the belly of hell, and basically I just uploaded a clip of Brian Denlinger where he says that Jonah died in the belly of the whale and went to hell, and then he was resurrected. Um. Now, this is another false teaching from Brian Denlinger. <laughs> surprise, surprise, they just keep coming. Um, I was actually listening to his teaching to refute Stephen Anderson's teaching that Jesus suffered in hell for three days and three nights. Um, and so Brian Denlinger's refuting a false teaching, and also he's teaching his own false teachings. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And I may have said things about this before. I know it's kind of a highly controversial topic, but it doesn't need to be. And uh, so I just thought about it a little bit, and I think that I have a, a better understanding of it already. Um, it involves, you know, figures of speech, of course. As with many things, you know, people take things literally when they're not meant to be literally, or they take them figuratively when it's not meant to be figuratively, and it happens, okay? You know, and it's understandable, uh, but... You know, Brian Denlinger and Steven Anderson, they teach, you know, some heresy, some really bad false teachings. And Brian Denlinger is just like weird doctrine after weird doctrine. So I don't know what I've said about Jonah before, and I may have taught it wrong myself. And if I find out, then I'll have to delete old clips or whatever. But I hope that this will bring a better understanding of this whole thing. Um, so let's look at Jonah chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Which says, Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly, and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. Okay, so it says that Jonah cried to God out of the fish's belly, and we know that he's in the fish's belly. Uh, you know, and Jesus said that Jonah was in the fish's belly for three days and three nights, right? Uh, I don't know the verse exactly, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what Jesus said. But yet, it says also that Jonah cried out of the belly of hell. So, what does this mean? And so, Brian Denlinger, he says some weird stuff. He says, well, in one way, uh, Jonah could be crying from the belly of hell because he's in the in a whale, and the whale's in the deep ocean, and so the, you know, the deepest depths of the ocean could be considered hell. But then he also says, well, I also think that Jonah died in the whale, and he actually went to hell, and he was resurrected. No, 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 no. Um, you know, when a lot of people want to attack the Christian faith or the Bible, they'll attack the, you know, that Jonah was alive in a whale for three days and three nights. But that's what the Bible teaches, and we need to defend that. And we, you know, it might be beyond our understanding or whatever, but the Bible teaches it, and it happened, and we need to hold to that. So what does it mean when he says he cried out of the belly of hell? Well, he's in the belly of the whale. And so what he's trying to express is that it's, you know, not a comfortable thing for him, okay? He's in agony. He's in torment. This is, you know, suffering. So in that sense, it's the belly of hell being inside of the fish's belly. And I was trying to think of some comparisons of this that I could use. And, well, for one, let's think about the Holocaust. And we could say that from out of the concentration camps, the Jews cried out to God. Okay, we could also say, from out of hell, the Jews cried out to God. Okay, were the Jews actually in hell? No, but I'm pretty sure that being in a concentration camp was like being in hell. And, you know, we use this figure of speech a lot today. I'm sure most of us do. You know, um, you know I feel like hell. You know, this is like hell uh, when there's some really unenjoyable experience. You know, if I was if I was bedridden and sick and had, you know, a really bad flu for a few days and I was going to explain this experience to somebody, I could say that was like three days of hell. Okay? It's a figure of speech. It doesn't mean I was literally in hell. It doesn't mean that I died and then I was resurrected. And so let's think about what did Jesus mean when he compared this? Well, I think that Jesus just meant 
he was just comparing the timing for one thing you know uh, a popular story that the the jews who he was speaking to would understand that jonah you know was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights so like christ you know in the same way christ will be dead for three days and three nights okay and then uh he will be resurrected just like jonah was spewed out from the whale okay that's what he's basically comparing just the timing he's going to be gone you know for three days and three nights and then he's going to return just as uh you know jonah was spewed out and so there's some other verses too concerning this and a lot more could be said but if we do a quick uh word search just on hell we can see things that are talked about like the sorrows of hell or the pains of hell you know the sorrows of hell again so we see that that's kind of this expression the sorrows of hell you know um so when jonah says from out of the belly of hell i cried to god it's like uh you know he was feeling the sorrows of hell inside the belly of of the whale and so another verse that's uh kind of concerning this whole thing is psalm 16:10 for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption and so that was used you know for jesus as well and you know and people will take this literally and say that jesus was in hell suffering because it says for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell but i think when david's talking about it when king david's talking about it in psalm when he wrote it he was meaning you know that i won't be left in a, in a horrid state you know in agony and suffering and the pains of hell uh okay that's what he means and then you know when it's used for Jesus, it's like, uh, you know, that Jesus would not remain dead, that he would be resurrected, that, you know, his body would not decay, okay, stuff like that. That's what that means. So, I hope that this helps you get a better understanding of this. I do think it's somewhat important, especially, you know, that, that we reject that Jesus suffered in hell. And that's absolutely wrong. But I think that, you know... We need to reject that Jonah died and went to hell as well. Because that's not what the Bible teaches, obviously. So, thanks for watching. God bless.